Star Trek Prodigy is really the culmination of over 10 years of, of uh, collaboration with Nickelodeon. Wow. They've been a client uh, of ours and really a partner of ours uh, for many years, they've been, there's relationships that uh, uh, I would classify almost as family. Okay, okay, I get it. So as we were working hard to get everybody safe and up and running, working from home, the, one of the things we could rely on most was that Nickelodeon was 100% supportive. Um, we were completely transparent with them and vice versa on security requirements, how we were going to keep their projects safe. Obviously, it was highly confidential at that time. That took a lot of, uh, a lot of trust and, uh, and uh, ingenuity from both sides to ensure that, 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 uh, that everything was successfully delivered and secure. Oh, a little safety video. There was the challenge of how do we collaborate? How do we gather around an idea? How do we review material together as a group and talk about what's important, what's working, what isn't? Um, these were all things that no one had done before um, uh, to the degree that we now needed to. So the team really threw themselves into um, finding ingenious ways of being able to uh, securely um, collaborate on material and review together and look at animatics together and so on and talk about what's working and what's not working with the Nickelodeon team all during the growing days of the pandemic and while we were still delivering content. So the team were amazing. One of the greatest challenges for us to have been presented because communication has flourished since then. Typically in a studio setting, you'd walk over to your coworker's desk and check on the animation and be inspired. And, and it's just, it's a very personal and cultural driven atmosphere. So working from home is, and this is not new to anybody who went through this, was very challenging because communication had to be initiated uh, intentionally in order to happen. So when you have teams of 100, 200 artists working on a project like Star Trek Prodigy, which is so big and demands constant interaction between artists, this required the artists to take, in addition to their amazing creative skills, but to also plus their communication efforts as well. Troubleshooting was the major challenge. Uh, if we were in office, we just go and sit with an artist and then uh, uh, look at the challenge, what they have, and then on their mission, we will be able to figure out a solution and then help the artist move ahead. But right now, everybody is sitting at home. We we'll allow to depend on a, a Teams call or a screen sharing session with them to uh, look into their files and then troubleshoot and then get the solution for them. So that. I would say was a, a little bit of hindrance for us to move ahead. When we started the Star Trek Prodigy, like all the team was scattered around India. I can say that because each people were in different, different states, not in the same place. In office, and you will have a multiple acting room and you can either patch by patch, we can send and you can record and you can put it there in that and take in server and uh, bring it back to Maya and you can fix the key process and you can start working on it. It's a simple process because everything will happen in the same floor. But now everybody's scattered all around the world, all around India. So how we will do that? So for that, and uh, we we uh, we used several techniques to capture their acting performance, and then you know uh, how to bring it into the server. We need a good uh, uh, bandwidth, a good uh, connection. Then only the artist can uh, do the correct lip sync shot. Who's there? Who said that? We found the solution and uh, we, the animators, can uh, do the shot in their uh, local and we have dedicated a, a, a server we, we set up to, to, to download those so we can also play them in a real time. Uh, such a huge show running it from home is not a, a small thing, it is a Himalayan task. So, but I would say thanks to the technology part, you know, you, every day we used to do have a, a frequent virtual meetings or uh, we do have a screen sharing session where uh, we take the uh, other people who are having trouble to remote and then we used to do a troubleshooting. So I would say thanks to the technology so which uh, helped us uh, deal with this pandemic thing. Great thanks to the team because without them we can't achieve the output. And the best part is like we were never met directly straight face to face. It's all through teams. So presently also it's going through that only and like we have done a good job finishing the episodes. Like 
uh, request of the Nickelodeon friend.